How do you feel about sexy red calling black women ghetto? I don't know about none of that shit. I got bigger fish to fry. Don't we all? I'm broke and homeless just like these motherfuckers out here. That's what I've been saying. It's rough out here, for sure, for sure. Yeah. And fuck corporate. Fuck corporate. What corporate ever do to you? Fire people after five years of working there, or laying people off during COVID, like my father. Damn. You he stayed was, out here? He was working that job since I was a itty bitty baby. Yeah. Yep. Shit, those man. Are, those are the bigger fish that we need to fucking fry. The motherfucking corporate rich ass motherfuckers that keep profiting. Off of wars and shit like that, keep profiting off of our land, keep profit, keep keep us on the hamster wheel for these corporations, Walmart. Like we're all fucking sick of this shit, and we're seeing it, and we think shit's about to go down, bro. So, what do you suggest is the first step that we take to, like, I don't know, like take action? Stop consuming. Consuming. Yes, consumerism. Consumerism. That's what's giving them more money. That's what's giving them more power. Y'all refuse to part ways with Walmart. Y'all refuse to part ways. Y'all like y'all refuse to take matters into your own hands and actually like community farms, shit like that. We gotta look out for ourselves because them motherfuckers don't care about us. They don't. They didn't show us all these all this politics and the left and the right and none of that shit is matter. It's a show, bro. It's a fucking show. So it's fake. It's fake. You don't think my vote matters? I'm not saying that. Oh, okay, okay. You scared what me I'm for saying, a minute. What I'm saying is. Mm -hmm. They look just look at how people how we're generally being treated. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not about votes, it's not about politics, it's not about none of that shit. All of this shit. Even the shit that you just saw just now. All this shit is for show. It is for show. The president is just a, he's just a, a face. He's just a face. That's it. So thank you. I appreciate it. But look, I'm from Dallas, Texas. Um, since you since you're videoing this and I am on social media. Okay. Shut your shit out. Uh well I'm a vocalist out here. I've been in Dallas, Texas my entire life. Really? Yes. Okay. My whole life. I uh, went to school. I'm graduated from Garland. from Mesquite High School. Oh no shit. Mm -hmm, from okay. Mesquite. Um I'm just like just like just like y'all. I might not look like y'all because I know I look you know, kind of goth and, you know. Ah, you take very good care of yourself. You know, I try, but, you know, but we're all kind of tired. I don't know if you got this fucking, mu this fucking music going on. What I'm trying to say is, like, honestly, fuck politics, man. Yeah. Because it's everywhere. It's in corporate. It's in our daily lives. It's, it's in everything. News. It's, it's in on the everything. news. Yeah. You got to deal with that shit at work when you, when you, when you go home and. I hate politics. You know, you you end up carrying that shit with you at home, and then that festers in your household. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the shit that people in corporate be doing to y'all and mm -hmm. shit like that to us. Because literally, I got fired like three weeks ago. Where'd you get your outfit from? Um, I got this at Forever 21 like a long time ago. Okay, what kind yeah. of phone do you have? iPhone. iPhone. Just yeah. iPhone. It's just I keep I like to keep things simple. Minimalist. Necessarily. I'm a like I'm a he I'm a heavy minimalist. Like, I would like to. It be. ain't shit for me to drop some shit off I would like and to move be, on. But in I my like life. too much shit. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But that's yeah. The, that goes back to what I was saying. We gotta stop consuming. And yeah. I was I was actually I talked to, to my mom about this all the time, and she's a Gen X. And we're able to have conversations without fighting. Yeah. You know, I just think that we need to start working more together instead of continuing the rat race. Because that's how our government wants us. They want us to be... Oh, yeah, divided. Divided. They want yeah. us to hate each other for this race or hate each other for this religious belief. But remember, remember how this country was founded. Freedom of religion. Freedom of this. Freedom of that. Free Think about all the freedoms that you have and expend those freedoms and prove to these people, like, hey, we are not a one religious state. We are not a one religious country. We are not a... We have to keep reminding them it's like... Look. You got a really bright head on your shoulders. Are you really homeless? I'm not homeless. Uh, so I, I joked earlier by saying that because, yeah. like, I recently did uh, lose my job and I've been living at the same apartment for the past seven years. And, oh, yeah? and it finally just got to a place where I couldn't, I couldn't afford it. I went from when I started at that apartment, I went from paying six fifty. Mm -hmm. This was 2017, 2018. Yeah. I think it was 2017. 
to now, 2024, my apartment is double that. I'm like paying 11, almost 1100 for a 500 square foot apartment in Dallas, Texas. Gosh, damn. Uh, How what? much sense did that motherfucking make? I mean, it's inflation. Everybody's like, I don't, I don't know. But that's the excuse that they want. Oh, it's inflation. It's inflation. It's inflation. Yeah, it's shit happens. Like, they're that, but like, no, it's not just shit happens. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Shit just don't happen. Just like, oops, I didn't just have a baby. Like, right. no, somebody, somebody fucked me and put sperm in me. Like, the fuck? So you got a lot of passion about this. What do you do to like spread awareness to anybody? Like, the next motherfucker. Have a conversation without, yeah. like, you know, hey, believe what you want to believe. At the end of the day, we have to have our, each other's backs in the physical sense. Right. We may not be spiritually aligned, but that does not mean that you can't set aside two minutes of your time to help your neighbor. It doesn't mean that you can't set to, uh, two minutes of your time to actually understand people that understand things differently. Because right. everything is not just one thing. We all got freedoms, but we all we all also have the freedom to understand each other. Think about that. It doesn't take shit. It doesn't really take shit. You just, it's uh, like patience and listening. Real quick, someone wanted to ask you, how do you feel about the black on black crime and what do you think we can do to like prevent it? Mm, honestly, y'all need to start doing fuck shit to each other. Fuck like, shit to each other, yeah. Like, stop cheating on people. Stop sleeping with each other's girlfriends. Stop, I don't know if you like tacos you know, or anything like that. Um, so here's the thing. What's because up? I'm going through a hard time right now. Why? We all are. I ain't got no eyes actually don't have a ride um and i'm currently in the midst of moving my things to the new house because i already had a new house prepared i just right. wasn't supposed to move this soon okay so um yeah so I, this month is gonna be like real yeah i feel you man my heart's out for you check this out um <laughs> i'm over here looking at the camera like yeah yeah yeah